All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Paw Print. Time for a chill stream of Animal Crossing tonight. Going to see what's going on after the last session I, I did where we could dive for the first time. It was super duper fun, and I'm looking forward to see what we can do tonight. Okay. All right. There we go. Good evening, everyone. Right now, Paw Print, it is 7.14 p.m. on Thursday, July 9th, 2020. I don't have any big news to share with you all today, but I'd like to touch on one seasonal topic. I was talking, taking a walk on the beach this morning, and I spotted rare colored shells called summer shells. Yes, those are the blue ones that you use to craft the special summer items, like the bathroom that I finally got to create. As the name suggests, they only wash up during the summertime. Find a few yourself, and you got an excellent excuse to craft some fun summer memories. I sent a recipe for a shell wreath to everyone who has the DIY Whispery Zap. Oh, that's nice of her. Try to make one. Cool. Cool. All right. Whoa. Look at this. Well, it looks like my wife made me something nice. I walk out of my house. The first thing I see is a really awesome uh, nautical themed uh, arch at my house. Very nice of her. I'm going to have to thank her tonight for doing that. That was very nice. Let's go ahead and let's take off the mask. Let's swab out my shirt because we have not hit the tips goal. Let's wear the regular earbuds combo that I would normally wear. We got a couple contributions here. Shell Con Artist to me $10. Is, is, how's it going, Phil? Is Deadly Premonition 2 a Switch exclusive? Indeed it is. The game probably never would have been made, but then it got financed partially, I believe, by Nintendo in order to be made, which is why it's a Switch exclusive. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to it very much tomorrow because the first game was so weird and wild and different from anything else. It was a great time. As confusing as the game was, it was a great time. So I hope you guys will join me for that tomorrow. Thank you for the $10 tip get the tipping started tonight Shao Kahn artist uh, only ice coffee just did a 100 bit cheer biggest cheer of the night and says I got a 5k bits badge uh, any plans for uploading custom bit cheer badges for milestones like 1k 5k 10k um there are aren't there uh, yeah like uh, oh wait a minute I see what you're saying any plans for uploading custom bit cheer badges no there are emotes when you hit certain cheering milestones you unlock certain special emotes but as for badges I don't have any plans for that I don't have any capability of doing any kind of editing or artwork or anything like that. Uh, all my emotes and badges and everything come from the viewers. So if anyone ever had an idea, oh, I think this would be cool for Phil to have different cheer badge levels and here's some ideas. They could always send them my wear post on my forums and I'd be able to consider it. But I don't have any skill in that whatsoever, <laughs> uh, nor, nor any capability to really mess around with it either. I don't have any, any you know, photo or graphical editing software, so... Elon just chased I have old vests I'd like to send you. Uh, no. I don't want old vests from you or your family members. I, I can get my own, thanks. Beast bought to me $1.30. He says, I have no idea what to do on Tuesdays because you're not streaming. What can I do to occupy my time on those days? Uh, there's many things you could do on a day I'm not streaming. You could exercise. Alright. You could... Oops. You could run errands. Like mow the lawn or, you know, paint the house fix a toilet it's broken um walk the dog about 47 48 times is enough to kick up a day i think um go to the doctors not that you're sick or anything but just want to go to the doctors you know you can do that on that day you're not missing anything you could uh i don't know you could whittle a, a life-size statue of uh i don't know oprah winfrey out of a, a local tree. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do when you're not watching my streams. It's really up to your own personal preference. But I thank you, Beast Bot, for the dollar thirty ten. Um, Ryan, cheer for the business. How do you feel about this music versus Minecraft music? It's good. It's very relaxing. The Minecraft music also is kind of, it's very synonymous with like relaxing. And people have heard that song for over a decade now. That music that chimes in when you play Minecraft. This music is good. There's a variety. What I like is that the music here changes. It's not always the same song. Shell shot. 67 cheer he said hello phil i'm totally not watching this from work well i'm totally not going to uh say anything about that okay hold on a sec here we go i got one letter from cody thought of an idea where you had a special day to write a good friend a letter i call it write a good friend a letter day i'm so glad i have you to write to 
Cody really is like friendly with me. I mean, every time I see him, I talk to him, but he's just oddly friendly with me. Like he really likes me for some reason. Well, we really think about it. Hold on. When you really think about it, on this island we got me, Cody, and Prince, and oh, someone new, B. We gotta go visit the new Islander B. Okay, uh, we're the only dudes on the island, right? Yeah, like it's me, Cody, and Prince. Outside of that, we've got my wife, Cat, Candy, Pecan, the new Islander B, the relatively new Islander Bianca and Sandy. Peaches, Agnes, a lot of women on the island. So, you know, those guys gotta stick together. What can I say? <laughs> okay, then. Um, that's cool. We're gonna go see. Now, what is this new recipe? Ooh, a shell wreath. So, I actually have the summer shell, but I would need a sea snail, a sand dollar, coral, giant clam, and a cowrie. All stuff that can be found on the beach. What is this? Nook Miles. Apparently, I have a... Yeah, look. Active island resident? Live on an island with lots of pr uh, promise. To illustrate this, I'll award you Nuke Miles based on the number of active days you spent. It says 50. So I guess I've played this like 50 times then? Well, you know what it is. I probably have, but not me. Like, I, I, if you look at my number of hours I've played the game, I think I'm between 30 and 40 hours. So if you do the math, that's probably like 20 sessions. But I guarantee you my wife booted up the game with my character a ton. <clears throat> How are we doing on shells? Excuse me, on bells. 79,000 bells is not bad and nothing to complain about. Pretty damn good, actually. So one thing I want to do before we even start up tonight, everyone. I want to see what's uh, available both at the Nook's Cranny and also over on the console at the town center. Because I'm trying to build a bathroom, all right? I want to get things for my bathroom. And really, I haven't done any room building in the game in a million years, so I'd like to see what they have available. For purchase. Oh, good evening, but beautiful butterfly. How you doing? Dude? Welcome to the next cranny. Well, the first thing that I always put inside of my bathroom is an electric talk. So we're gonna get this right away. Of course not. Oh, it's a waste basket. A rotten waste bin. How much is it? Only a thousand bells. You know what? It's so cheap. I'm gonna buy it. Very nice. Uh, Mark Ferg 19 just did a 50 bit cheer. This will have been a fan since 2008. Hope you're doing well and sending support from Scotland. Thank you very much, Mark, for the support. Good to see ya. Crabcock did a 105 bit cheer. Good evening, Crabcock. This is good evening. What did you have for Din Din tonight? Uh, we had, if you can believe it, we had turkey hot dogs again. I know we've been having them like at least once a week recently. Uh, my wife is really into them now. Like, she never knew that you could buy turkey hot dogs that are way less fattening. And more healthy for you than regular hot dogs, but they taste kind of the same. So she's on a turkey hot dog kick now, so we have them like like once a week. And we actually had recently just gone to Trader Joe's on our day off and gotten these uh, white cheddar shell uh, like macaroni and cheese. And so we had that with it. It was pretty good. Something different than just regular mac and cheese. So, all right, well we got a waste basket. I guess we put that in the bathroom. Oh man, hui. Gotta wake up. Ratty Max says turkey for every meal. Turkey or chicken? We eat primarily turkey or chicken. We really do. We, we don't eat much else because it's much healthier for you and I can't eat red meat. Remember, I very rarely can eat red meat. Oh, there goes the owl. Scared it. All right, let's see. Oh, there's Cody. Evening, Bam. How's your night going? It's a great day for cross training. Okay. Let's see what they got for available in the town center. Good evening, Arc Light 112. How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Uh, Derek says, I want to let you know B has Cherry Swing Pool now. She lives where Cherry used to be. You're right. So we have to go check that out and see, see what kind of a character B is. Is Isabel, like, completely infatuated with that flower? She is, isn't she? Uh. Okay. So let's see what they've got to sell at the Nook Stop. What can I redeem Nook Miles for, first of all? Anything new? Anything new that I want, I guess should be the question. A rope fence, no. No, I'm looking for uh, bathroom items. No, 
These are all outdoor items. I put a porta potty inside my house. <clears throat> no, this looks like all park related stuff, outdoor related stuff. This doesn't look like anything you would want to put inside your house at all, honestly. And this is just clothing. Okay. Alright, so instead of that, what can I buy from Nook Shopping? Let's take a look. <clears throat> have I ever had breakfast for dinner? Indeed I have. Um, we've had things like pancakes, waffles, bacon, eggs, scrambled eggs for dinner. Um, haven't done that in a very long time, but actually, if I remember correctly, when Kat first moved in over two years ago, we were doing it like once a week, actually, just to be silly. Uh, but we haven't done it in a long time. B Diggy, just re-subscribed to the channel for two months, 16 total. He says, how's it going? It's going well, B Diggy. Thank you for asking. Good to see ya. So, let's see here. The, uh, oh, wow. Animal Crossing New Horizon style Nintendo Switch is 35,000 bells. I don't think I'll be buying that. <laughs> oh, man. A tricycle? No, these are all clothing items. KK Sonata? I don't remember if I have this one or not. I mean, I don't really want to waste the money. This kind of stinks. Uh, bamboo grass? Look at this. It's kind of neat. Piece of bamboo grass put in your house, I guess. It's like a treat. I don't know. Would I want to put that in the, in the bathroom, maybe? I might buy it. I'm going to buy it. Place order. Of course, they're going to... Yeah, they're going to deliver it to me through the mail. All right. Okay. That's it for tonight. What's Isabel doing? Oh, Phil, good evening. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm actually good. <laughs> I was curious to see if there's anything new, but there's nothing new there. Okay. You know, I haven't checked this box in about four months. What's in this? Rusted parts, iron nuggets, a cardboard box, cedar sapling, green playroom wall. That's a new wallpaper. Iron nuggets, cardboard box. A lot of cardboard box. A safe. Young royal shirt. Cute wall-mounted clock. Cardboard box. I wish I knew what this looked like. I'll take it and I'll, ch I'll check it out. Iron work table. Cardboard box. Multipurpose vest? Vest! Alright, I'm gonna see what the vest is. A lot of cardboard boxes. Fan, palm. Home table, striped shirt. A deer decoration. Cardboard box, mechanical tape. Mini dollar workbench, cardboard box. Okay, I'm gonna see what some of this stuff is. Spot to me a dollar thirty, and he says, "If you were gi gifted a gaming PC, would you be more open to doing playthroughs on PC, including new releases?" If I were one hundred percent gifted a gaming PC, um, and so I guess what I would have to do is I put, the game would run on the PC, but then I would have to find a way to just take the video feed from that PC and take it as an input into another PC, and then capturing that video input, right, and then streaming it. Um, I wouldn't be against it at the same time. I would basically also need to have a whole new method of capturing. Um, or not. Let me think about this for a second. In reality, that's not true. In reality, as long as the PC did HDMI out at, a, at like 1080p, and I could run it right to my capture device that I use right now for my consoles, I would not need anything new on my existing PC. I would just need... Right, I would just need... Uh, to run it into that. So yeah, in reality, as long as, as long as no one was looking for, oh my God, film must do absolute top of the line capture quality shit, and you're okay with how I do stuff now, then yeah, if I were gifted a gaming PC, um, I definitely would be able to, I would say, you know, play PC games. Now the question, I guess, would really be here, uh, Beastbot, what on earth games would you want to see me play on PC, right, versus? Playing them on, say, uh, 
console. Because you know what I would do? I wouldn't play them on PC over there. If I had a dedicated gaming PC, I would set it up somewhere, either there or there, and I would, I would play them on my TV, just like I used to do back when I lived in Connecticut. What I would do is do video out from that PC into my HDMI splitter, and then I would have the splitter run one to the TV and one to my capture device, just like I do with my current consoles, and that way I could play the games here. So I would probably use a gamepad, you know, much like any other game, and I would just play it on PC at higher resolution or whatever, right? So some people are saying modded Oblivion and Morrowind, Star Citizen, Warzone Duos. So basically what you guys are telling me is there's nothing to play on PC. <laughs> I mean, really, like, when you think about it, what games have I missed out on because of PC exclusivity? I mean, XCOM 2? Uh, what was the other one? Something, something, what was it called? The Sin or something like that? And people said that it was, like, one of the best RPGs. Something Sing 2 or something like that. Can't remember. But in reality, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. Let's see what this multi-purpose vest looks like. Uh, well, you know what? It is a different kind of vest. Usually I put on this one. The fuzzy vest looks more closer to what I wear now. But this is another vest. Interesting that now I have two vests. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so anyway, what does a cute wall mounted clock look like? Let's find out in the bathroom. Ah. Um. Well, the shower's right there. Maybe we should try to put the clock on this wall here. A heart? Well, I didn't know that's what it was. I'll leave it there for now, though. I'm probably not going to leave it. I'm probably going to look for a better one. We should put the waste basket right here. Right next to the toilet. There you go. Um. So anyway, if I were to be gifted a gaming PC... I pretty, I'm pretty sure, at least in regards to how to play, I could figure that out pretty easily. But what I would say is it would be the more difficult thing would be figuring out exactly what game should I exactly play on PC, right? <clears throat> Beautiful Butterfly says Valorant. All right, so there's one maybe because it's PC exclusive right now. Uh, if if it is, is it even open for people to play, or is it still closed the beta or whatever? You have to be in the know to play it or whatever, right? Uh, I mean, that's like, is it really worth buying a gaming PC to play a fucking free-to-play game? Dually just says, any game that's 60 frames per second. Now, I, I just said this. I'm going to clarify this. My capture quality would not increase. Just because I have a dedicated gaming PC does not mean the quality of my gameplay would increase. It can't. I'm using the same PC to capture and stream. The reason that my quality can't be higher is Twitch. Twitch has a limitation of 6,500 bits per second. You cannot do 1080p 60 frames per second at 6,500 bits per second. It looks terrible. I know because I've tried it. The only reason that I was able to do that back when I streamed on YouTube is because YouTube didn't have that limitation. So I was able to stream at 9,000 or higher kilobits per second, and then I could do 1080p 60 frames. I can't do that. So even if I had a high-end gaming PC, the games would still have to be 1080p 30 frames. There's nothing I can do about it. Until Twitch upgrades their capabilities of what they allow you to stream at, I will always be locked at where I am right now. There's nothing I can do about that. Ninja does? Of course Ninja does. You don't think that Ninja has an exception. You're seriously going to tell me that. You don't think that like the biggest streamer or one of the biggest streamers on the internet doesn't get exceptions. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> okay. Uh, Crabcock Charity says... When we expect to see the green screen implemented, uh, right now, Crabcock, there is no plans or ETA on any kind of stream improvements, as I've said many, many times. This month is a very important month for me. At some point, the federal government will be contacting myself and my tax attorney in regards to my back taxes. I will not have to work with my tax attorney by paying him a lot of money and then having him work with the government to work out a tax plan for me. Once that tax plan is figured out, which hopefully will be reasonable and will not require any upfront money, I hope, then... I'll be able to resume doing my monthly payments for that, continue on with my payments as I've been doing for taxes this year, go from there and see, with now I will have an established idea of what I owe every month, how much money I have for extra stuff, like 
upgrading my setup or whatever. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out hopefully by the end of this month or at the very least sometime in August. I hope by the end of this month, though, because I would like to have that guidance. And, uh, you know, it's not impossible for me to do it. I would. What I would do is I would get rid of this love seat. I would have to hire a company, I guess, to come take it because I can't get it. I can't bring it to a dump. I don't have a truck or nothing. I can't get it out of the house either myself. Um, so I'd probably hire a company to come pick it up, get rid of it. And then I would probably go see if that bl that brown chair that I have in the storage nook, if I put it here, what it would look like, you know? I don't care. Like, if I leave the webcam on, I could just use that brown chair. But I'm curious, would the brown chair be a good level that I could put a green screen behind me, right? Um, I guess we, we'd have to mess with it and see. It's the only way to find out would be to mess around with it and find out. Um, but, yeah, what I would do is mess around. Now, if I mess around and it looks good, then I would probably buy a green screen setup from somewhere on the Internet. I would try to set it up. <clears throat> try to figure it out and go from there okay fair enough okay arc light four dollars twenty uh, to be four dollars twenty cents this is cat Lakes hot dogs i want to know if you guys ever had authentic chi town dogs i've had an authentic chicago dog which basically means it's a hot dog but it has tomato pickle um and a few other things on it i think they put like a hot pepper on it too I've had that before, and I thought it was good, but it's messy, but it tastes pretty good. She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't like a hot dog with lots of shit on it like that. She's not, she would like very basic hot dogs. She's just like ketchup, mustard. She's good. Um, but she, I don't think she's ever had it. I've had it before. Mika Brzezinski to me a dollar and said, since you closed your PO box years ago, if you needed an older game that can't be obtained digitally for a playthrough, can we mail it to you at your house as a donation if we have it? Um, you can't mail me anything without my permission. Like, Sadly, you know, at one point, this is years and years ago, people would just send me random shit out of nowhere. And I'd be like, what the hell is this? And a lot of times I just throw it out because I don't know what it is. If I just get a random package in the mail, I don't know who it's from or what it is. That's going right in the trash, just to warn you guys. Uh, I, you know, surprise packages, no way. Uh, I don't, who knows what, what that stuff is that's arriving at my house. So, if you're ever interested in donating something to me like maybe you say oh i got an old game and you're interested in a playthrough email me at darksidefillahotmail.com in fact the the whole sleeping dogs def a definitive edition playthrough i just did was a result of someone emailing me and saying would you be interested in playing the game i'd like to gift it to you and i said yes they gifted it and now i have full playthrough and all dlcs now on uh you know on youtube and i just did some awesome streams of it so that was really cool but you gotta let me know ahead of time do not, I must reiterate, do not just send me random stuff without asking. That is not allowed, and it's going right in the trash, okay? Uh, I think I screwed up. I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to store some stuff. Shell Shock, cheered 100 bits to Stalker series. Uh, I don't even know anything about the Stalker series. <laughs> okay. I don't even know when I got this. Wait, I don't want that. Archbrick flooring. I guess we'll store... We'll store the vest for now. I don't even know when I got a clay furnace. We'll put that in storage. When did I get that? I have no idea. I'm also going to store the summer shell because technically I don't really need it anymore. I already got the stuff I needed for the bathroom, unless I get another DIY blueprint, so let's store that. Okay. Good. Okay. Alright. So. What do I want to do tonight? Well. Hopefully... We're going to eventually, there's, there's uh, Cody, and he changed his outfit. Hopefully, we're going to get more DIY stuff in regards to um, bathroom. As for now, it looks like I'm kind of shot. I don't see any other bathroom stuff. So, what I'd like to do now is maybe do some fishing, try to catch a new bugs, do some more diving. I had a lot of fun diving last time I played this, so... Hey, Michael, uh, I already answered that we had turkey hot dogs. Oh, here we go again. Another new pattern from Sable. You know, I like that over the course of like a month talking to Sable unlocked dialogue with her and now she befriended me and she gives you these items. 
But I am disappointed because there's no more conversations. It would have been nice if there were ongoing conversations with these two sisters and they just kind of end it now, right? I've always wanted a belted, dotted dress. Oh my gosh, well, my heart says yes, my wallet says maybe. Uh, wait a minute. She's wearing a belted, dotted dress. Look. Hold on. She's wearing the dress. How much do you want to bet? I can't change the camera right now. How much do you want to bet that she was in here earlier today and she said that to Kat and Kat bought her the dress and gave it to her? Because that's how Kat is. She's very nice to the Islanders. So I guarantee you she bought that dress and gave it to Pecan and now Pecan's wearing it. Which is funny because she's acting like she still wants it even though she's wearing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryan Chase said, ignore people talking about pirating PC games. That's illegal to do. I I'm well aware of that. Don't worry about that. Anonymous penis to me dollars says, if money gets tight, you can pirate games. There you go. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm not pirating any games. You know, once upon a time, a million years ago, I did used to actually do some pirating when it came to not official retail games, but emulation, because a lot of the old classic stuff wasn't available to download, say, on, like, Nintendo Shop or stuff like that. So I remember when I did the Summer of Retro, I played like Super Mario World, Zelda, Link to the Past, and stuff all on emulator. I haven't done that in a million years, and I have no plans to ever do that ever again. So, the answer is... No. Uh, here we go. Boy. Blaine Riley says I should sell stuff that's sitting in my extra storage to make extra money. I could do that, and in reality, I think I have a lot of shit over there I could sell. I will think about it. Is that a star coming out of the sky? I hear the creeper can do it. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'll start grabbing these because if I grab enough, I can bite that, make that reese if I get the right items. Now I don't hear it. Ah! Wait, how do I do it? I forgot how to do it. Do you guys remember how to catch a shooting star? I completely forgot how to do it. Yeah, you guys remember how to do it. Spawn killer to me, dollar thirty. Said I. Uh, you ever have liver and onions? I just had liver, apples and onions the other day. It's delicious. I've never had liver and onions. Nope. I am not. Uh, my my. If I remember correctly, my mom used to make it for my dad, but I've never had it myself. Thank you for the tip, uh, Spawn Killer. Can anyone remember how to catch a shooting star? I've completely forgotten. Can I get drunk? Yes. Will I get drunk? No. Okay. Well, no one apparently knows how to catch the star, so I guess I'm not even going to bother tonight. Oh, is this a DIY? Yes. An amazing DIY recipe popped into my mind as I was to drink a cup of tea. The iron wood cover. What the hell is iron wood? I'd like to meet the new islander B. But we'll take a look at B in a second. Oh, this could be a shark. Oh my god! What the fuck? It's bigger than you! Holy shit! That's bigger than the fucking great white shark! What is that? An ocean sunfish! Good thing I'm wearing ocean sunscreen! Holy fucking shit! That's the biggest fish in the game. It's gotta be. That's bigger than the fucking sharks. The ocean sunfish. Oh my god. That's insane. That's seriously insane. Yeah, and, and Kat had not caught it. I gotta bring it to the museum. 
What the frick? It thinks it's giant, man. <laughs> Derek says it's only worth 4,000 bells. Seriously? That ginormous fish is only worth 4,000 bells? Well, I actually don't feel bad about bringing it to the to uh, the museum then. Hello, Candy. Hi, I was my bestie, Bam. Let's chat. I was way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. Then I found you and it's fab again. It's super great to see you. What do you need? I saw a cat today. It looks like we were having a lot, kind of fun you write songs about. Huh. Uh, Mark Ferg, cheered 60 bits, says... You ra would you rather replay The Last of Us 2 blindfolded or do another firm request ridicule? Um, in reality, The Last of Us 2 might actually be better blindfolded if you don't have to see the terrible cutscenes. Blindfolded and your ears plug. It might be a better game. It, it might actually be a better game. <laughs> okay then. Uh, well, crap. This is B's new house. But B's not home, so I can't check out the house. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to check out the new house. A lot of items here on the coastline. Is there a fish in here? Aha. Darn. Oh, I gotta wait. Yes, I do like Snoopy in the Charlie Brown movies. Absolutely. Seriously? There we go. Finally. Just a carp. Lane. Uh, Blainer, Blainer Riley says, since you like the SpongeBob game, I should play the movie game. Well, first of all, I did not see the movie. So I probably wouldn't want to see, play a movie game unless I saw the movie. But in addition to that, um, you know, I don't know much about uh, any of the other games. The only reason I played Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh my goodness. It's, oh shit, there was a bug? I didn't see it. Oh my god, these new bugs are evasive. I never see them. Um, but in addition to that, I never... Uh, I didn't even, I never even knew that the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom game was good until people told me you can't paint for me to play it for years and years, so it'll be on you guys to let me know what the best Spongebob games are. If you're saying the movie game's pretty good, I'll take your word for it. So the thing is, I know I don't really need any more summer shells. Well, I think I want to grab them anyway, just in case I get a DIY blueprint or something really good, so I can do it when I want, rather than having to run around and gather them again later, which is really annoying. Okay. That is a barred knife jaw. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Quincy the Duck. Good evening. What switch accessories did I buy? Uh... The, I got the Hori Pro Pad. I got the actual professional prof Pro Pad, the Nintendo branded one that's wireless, and that pad sucks ass. The D-pad doesn't even work. The D-pad is completely faulty on the damn thing. Um, and I have the Hori, uh, what's it called? It's, oh God, I forgot what it's actually called. Hold on. The Split Pad Pro. Oh, what am I doing? The Split Pad Pro, which are the controller attachments you put on the side of the Switch to turn the Switch into an actual easy to handle console instead of using the terrible Joy Cons that are pieces of garbage. And that's it. I don't have anything else uh, for the Switch, just the basic stuff. Okay. I gotta look for these new bugs. I've only caught like one of the new bugs. I know there's a ton of new bugs for summertime. I'm no good at it. An anchovy. I have never had an anchovy. Never in my life have I eaten an anchovy. 
I know a lot of people say that they're salty and they're a common ingredient on pizza. I've never had an anchovy. King Michael wonders if I'll play Grand Theft Auto 5 on PS5 again. I really enjoy the game because the world is so big and funny. I like to flip off people in the game. Maybe. Maybe I would just to showcase what the game looks like on PS5. Uh, I haven't played the game in a super long time. I only played through it once. I did I did get it on PS4 and I only played it for a short period of time before I basically didn't play it again. So maybe I would play it again. I don't know. No bugs here. Derek says you wait for the street start, you press A when you see it. But I, I did do that and instead. I guess with the fishing rod, so maybe I just need to make sure the fishing rod's not in my hand, right? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry guys, I don't know why I'm yawning so much and I, I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I know, Ready Bag. I want to wake up. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm feeling so tired. Look who it is. What a super evening. Yay. Let's chat. Do you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the paw pretty short until I've walked that far. Call me Moon Tiger. You're weird. Uh, Spawn Killer took me $1.30 and says, Do you like sardines? I've also never had a sardine. I never had a sardine, nor have I ever had an anchovy. So I don't know what they taste like, but the, you know, again, the stereotype belief is that they're incredibly salty. I wonder if they all are, you know? Only Ice Coffee says, Do I need a Red Bull or a Monster? I don't know. I do have these V8 energy drinks downstairs. I could have one. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea why I'm feeling so tired. All of a sudden, I actually wasn't like this before I started the stream, and I'm not bored. I like Animal Crossing, so I don't, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Someone's singing. little face is like a little skinny snout a gar yar it's a gar har har that's a cool looking fish i like that one gar the long snouted gar let's take a look at it and see if cat has brought that to the museum yet like i said she's been playing this way more than me no i got two new fish so far tonight that giant ass fish what's it called again the ocean sunfish and then the gar. Two new fish so far tonight. Pretty good. <clears throat> Mark Frick cheered 120 bits. That's the top cheer of the night. And he actually says, uh, uh, you ever consider going back to play Oblivion? Uh, I've said this already. I said, yeah, I would, I would definitely go back and play Oblivion at some point. The last time I played it didn't go so well because I wasn't doing the interactive streams. People got bored of it and I stopped. Maybe if I was doing it with the interactive style streams, people would like it better. But... We're in the midst of, of Morrowind, which, by the way, Morrowind is probably returning on Sunday, FYI, everybody. For those who enjoy those chill Morrowind streams. Oh, my God, that looks cool. <clears throat> Look at that thing. Whoa. Yeah, Morrowind looks like it's going to return Sunday night. So for those of you who like Morrowind, uh, come on back Sunday, okay? Hello, Olivia. So good to see you. Yay. I want to chat. My dear, is it this weather divine? I tell you clear skies like this are going to feel like anything's possible. Uh, I guess she calls you my dear. Yes, my dear. wonder what song she's singing. A sweet fish. I caught one of those last time. And it was pretty good. Pretty uh, worth a good amount of money, right? 
Do I have a drink with me tonight? Just water tonight, Derek. Yeah. Do I like snapper soup? Asking Michael. I've never had snapper soup. You mean like the, the fish snapper in a soup? I never had it. Sounds good. I do like soup. Anonymous donator to the dollars is actually interested. Ta is tossing out random packages from weirdos a weekly thing for me, or is this something that only happens every couple of years? I'm honestly smart that you don't take a chance with that shit. Uh, no, it doesn't happen that often. Every once in a while, I'll get a box, I'll look at it. It's not from anyone I ordered anything from, and I'll, it goes right in the trash. That's the thing. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna fuck with that. I don't know what people are sending me, you know. But it's rare, very, very rare that that happens. Not often at all. Um, you know, thank God. Thank God, because I can't deal with that shit, you know? I can't be constantly throwing shit out and stuff. Um, Beast bought to me, $1.30 said, if you did play through on PC, uh, did a playthrough on PC, I'd like to see you play random games on Steam, Civilization 5, Persona 4 Golden, Fallout 1, new releases available on PC, Divinity Original Sin, that was the game. That was the game that everyone said was, like, game of the year two or three years ago, but it was a PC exclusive at the time, and by the time it came to consoles, no one gave two shits about it or talked about it. That was the one. It says Democracy 3 and Rim World. It's funny because I don't even know what most of those games are. Besides Divinity Original Sin, I, I know. I was like, what the hell is Democracy 3 and Rim World? I never heard of it. Man, am I going to shoot this above the water and lose the package again? I hope not. It's a... Derek says the gar is, is worth 6,000 bells more than that giant ocean sunfish. Damn, I wonder why. Oh, shit. There we go. That's what we got. A floral hairpin? Maybe I'll send that to my wife. She might like that, actually. You know, I think I am going to send her a present. The floral hairpin. I bet she'll like that. Okay. Super bad cat, resubscribe. At tier two for 41 months in a row. He says, sorry I haven't been around. I'm taking a break from the internet. Hey, man. I've said to people many times, you can't make it to the streams for a while. That's perfectly fine. I'm not here. I miss people who I see all the time and they're not here anymore. It's sad when they're not here, but you got your own thing going on, man. I totally understand. I was the kind of person. I used to watch content on the internet for a, a long, consistent time, and then I basically just had to move on and do other stuff, right? It's certainly cool to see you back, and thank you for the tier two sub, which helps even more, Super Bat Cat. Ryan cheered. He said, "Heading to bed. See you tomorrow for Street Fighter. Have a good night." You too, Ryan. Have a good evening, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. All right. VG stuff says, "Please say my name." Okay, my name. Say my name. Say my name. You're acting kind of shady and call me me baby. Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my name. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it was one of those popular freaking songs at what was it, the end of the 90s, early 2000s? That's just stuck in my head. I never replant those anymore. I just take the bags. I'm like, it's mine. It's mine. <sighs> All right, well, someone just said something and it's, uh, pretty stupid in a tip, and uh, I'm not going to put up with that crap, so hold on. All right, take care. Continuing on. <clears throat> Super bad cats is bad. I'm glad I've, I've returned on a chill game stream. You know, speaking of which... Super bad cat, you haven't seen me sw swim yet, have you? Let's catch this fish and then let's go for a swim and see what I can find. Oh, come on! A friggin' stinky old ass boot? That's what you give me? Get that out of my inventory, man. <laughs> Alright, let's put on the wetsuit. Let's put on a snorkel. Let's go for a dive. I said let's go for a dive. 
There we go. Uh, my audio cut out. That was weird. I wonder why. You know why? There was a power blip. Where is my headphones plugged into right now? It looks like my headphones are plugged into my Xbox One. I don't have any idea why there was a power blip on my Xbox One. That's very odd. But anyway... What did I get? A sea urchin. Okay. Let's go for a swim, shall we? Let's see what creatures we can find out in the water. Pretty interesting. Am I going to be on the new Liquid Richard album? Yeah, there's going to be a track about Wendy's Chili. Uh, and I'm going to be either going to take my clips, audio clips, out of my videos about how disgusting it is and put it in there. Whoa, this is a Gazami crab. It's a gripping find. Gazami! I got that Gazami, son. Where the hell is it? Gazami! It's a new kind of crab. I've already gotten three new creatures tonight. Excellent. See, that's fun. This is fun, finding new stuff. And this is what I like is that I can... Wait a minute. Why do I have my hat on? I can't take my hat off right now. I'm stuck with the hat on. I like this. This is fun getting all kinds of new stuff. In. Yeah, but no, you guys aren't aware. Um... Yeah, they're going to sample me. They're going to be sampled for the new Liquid Richard stuff. Pretty cool. Whoa, this is a sea pineapple. Your move, sea pizzas. What the hell? Cat already got a sea pineapple. Okay. Sea pineapple. What would be the first thing I would do if I were in the Resident Evil universe? Cry. <laughs> I don't want to fucking be there. Every type of mutated friggin' freak, right? Another sea pineapple. Mark Ferg just cheered and said, I don't get why the tractors have so much time on their hands to literally do nothing but try to ruin the stream for everyone. They, you just said it though, but they, they're, they, all they do, this is their life, is to try to ruin content. That I put out because they don't have their own life. They're literally attached to my life because they have none of their own. They're the ultimate losers, yet they act like I'm a loser for being a successful streamer when in reality they're the ones sitting at home trying to make fun uh, you know, of me behind their fucking computers and they can't do anything creative themselves, so. Now I found a sea star. My goodness. That one's already a museum as well. I guess Cat must have found it. Deep dive. I got 50. 50 dives. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Lord X Law says, oh, successful, as if to be sarcastic. Yes, I would say that as a streamer who has hit 175 straight streams where I've hit a tips goal, a streamer who puts out constant positive content for his audience, has a very interactive, engaging audience that actively tells me on a daily basis they enjoy my content, a streamer that, you know, has been able to successfully recover from crippling debt and other issues and is on the right pace in order to actually have a much better life in the near future... I'd say I'm way more successful than anything that you've ever done trolling my chat, so, uh, you know, you can lick my ass. How about that? God damn it. I got it. Another sea urchin. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I hear the stars again. Again? Dude, the, the thing went off again. What's going on? Something's going on with my Xbox because now I have no audio. Yeah, this is weird. What just happened? Hold on a second because my headphones aren't working. I have to see what's going on. Because usually I leave them plugged into my Xbox One. Apparently the power went off to my Xbox One because my headphones are off. Let's try to get to the bottom of this. I don't know what's happening. Is the wire simply loose? Maybe the wire is loose. I basically just kind of pushed the USB wire back in. Now it seems to be working again. So maybe it's just the wire. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, we're back. <laughs> back with functioning audio again. Acorn barnacles. How am I doing on inventory space? Only a few more spots. Okay. Yeah, King Oak and I also hope Deadly Premonition 2 ends up being good. The thing is, the first game ran like absolute shit on the PlayStation 3, but was actually one of my favorite playthroughs of that gen. Seriously, it was such a weird ass quirky game with a real uh, an ongoing mystery element to it. Uh, like I said, it had many similarities to the Twin Peaks television series. I actually really loved the game, so I hope it's really good. I got a muscle. Muscles are absolutely delicious. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Uh, what do I like better, Coca-Cola or Pepsi? I like them both. Depends on the situation. If I'm looking for something really sweet, then I'll get a Pepsi. If I'm looking for something maybe a little bit more, uh, more cola flavor for, say, having for dinner or something, then I'll get a Coca-Cola. A moon jellyfish. Okay. That was a good one. I agree. That was a great belch. Yeah. Oh, and now I got one of the spotted garden eels. Is my inventory full now? Yes, I have to go sell. Okay, well, museum and sell. So I got some fossils to assess as well as creatures to trade into the museum. Lordio, so how's the night stream going? It's going fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the cheer. Sprite or 7 up? Oh, it tastes the same to me. They really do. I think Sprite actually might have a little bit more. Oh, shit. I think Sprite might have a little bit more carbonation. I got it. What is this? Yes, a Mayama Stag. Now, of course, I have a full inventory, so I'm just going to swap out. Or something that was common or garbage here that I don't care about. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of the giant clam. A Mayama Stag. My first new bug acquisition of the night. It's already in the uh, museum, so Cat must have found one already. Okay. Trump is not that bad. I don't know about that. Uh, ask, if Nintendo announces remasters of their 3D Mario games, which would I be interested in? Basically, number one, if there's a 3D Mario game I never played before, obviously, I did it again. I scared a bug away. I didn't let's see it. Son of a bitch. So, yeah, if there's one I've never played before, that would obviously be my main focus and interest. If there's ones I've played before, then it would have to be ones that maybe I played a long time ago. So, there'd be, like, renewed interest in them. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't want to play anything that I played recently. Like, I wouldn't play Super Mario Sunshine again right away or anything. Well, I pooped my pants, tip me a dollar thirty. So I like how your trolls say they're not jealous that you get to stay home and play games all day for a living and get paid for it. That's bullshit. They're lying. I'm jealous that you get to play games all day for a living. I wish I could do what you do, so fuck those trolls. Alrighty then. Thank you for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. I pooped my pants. Okay. 
All right, so let's get these uh, let's get these fossils assessed. Okay. Ooh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Quite splendid. A lesser museum has these. All right, I can sell them. That's good. So what I want to do, I have two new fish, right? I like to give them the fish individually. So I can learn about each one. Oh, and the crab. Okay, let's give them this one first. The gar. Woohoo, this is undoubtedly a gar. Can I interest you in facts about it? Yes, I'd like to hear about the gar. I'd love nothing more. From who you have sang a gar, did you know that this beastly fish can grow up to nine feet long? This is taller than me. God damn. The gar is a remnant of times long past, a living fossil, if you will. And not only has sharp teeth and armor like scales, it has the ability to take breaths of air. To look, at this, to look up upon this unusual fish is to get a glimpse of our prehistoric past. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Okay. So that's one down. Yes. Take like another donation. I gotta learn about this ginormous fish. The ocean sunfish. This is an ocean sunfish. Are I interested in fascinating facts? Yes, please. Wonderful, I'd love nothing more. The ocean sunfish is a large relative of the blowfish with an unusual shape like a fish head with a tail. They're fairly relaxed species, often content, content to ride where the currents take them. This is fortunate, as otherwise the sight of a large head coming towards you might be alarming. That's it? <laughs> it's just a giant fucking head. Alright. Alright, so Lordio just did a shout out to Almighty Kevin. That earned him a nice, tasty lifetime ban, so I hope that it was worth it, and thanks for the 50 bits. Appreciate that, stupid. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Alright, let's make one more donation. We got that crab, right? Kazami crab. Who this must be a Gazami crab. I'm going to interest you in a few fascinating facts about your Gazami crab. Sure. Wonderful. I'd love nothing more. The Gazami crab may be better known by its more descriptive name, the Japanese blue crab. It gets the same from the blue chint sometimes found on its shell and legs. Its paddle like rear legs would help it swim, to swim freely and quickly through water. Of course, this Gazami crab couldn't swim freely enough to get away from you. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. <clears throat> okay. No, that's it. We're good. Now we're going to go sell, right? We're gonna go sell a bunch of stuff, make some money. I should turn the, uh... I should turn, take this hat off. You know, I probably should keep my mouth shut. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna take a risk tonight. Uh, I have not heard a damn peep about Kevin or, or any of his streams in a long time. Now, I don't know. Maybe people sneak references into his crap on my streams. And I'm not aware of it. But I swear, as it's been a long time, I, I would say like over a month or longer, I don't I haven't really heard anything. It's actually, like to me, shocking, but at the same time, it's refreshing because I don't have to hear stupid ass dumb fuck memes from some idiot anymore. I just get to kind of enjoy my own shit. So I don't know why that is. I mean, I I know for a fact that a lot of of my detractor streamers i guess got banned from youtube in one fell swoop and went somewhere else but i don't know if that affected anything like if they don't i don't know i would assume that they have a dedicated hater base and that those those people would have followed them no matter where they went if they went to some fucking joe schmo streaming site with two viewers they probably would have went over there and had their entire viewer base so i don't know i just it's been nice to not be constantly fucking harassed by that stupid shit recently all right let's sell Alright, the sweet fish, the pineapple. 
Uh, the sea pineapple, the sea star, the sea urchin, the acorn, the mussel, the moon jellyfish, the garden eel, the crucian carp, triceratail, an anchovy, a bar nitro, a diplo neck carp. I don't. Oh shit! Ah! Oh. I didn't want to do the sand dollar, and then I hit back out, and then I fucked it up, and I gotta do it all over again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, let's try this again. No, I don't want the floor. I'm gonna give the floor over to my wife, so hold on to that. There's also the Mayama Stag, the Great the Sea Graves. There we go. Oh, wait, there's also a sea urchin. There's more up here. Sea urchin and a zebra turkey fish. That should be everything, so I'm keeping those other ingredients to try to make uh, the, the, re the sea wreaths that we put in my bathroom as a decoration. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Not bad. 28,000 bells. I am not going to complain there. Very nice. I now have 105,000 bells. And, of course, they put the excess bells in your pocket. See? Nice. That was good. No complaints for me on that one. Okay. All right, very good. I killed Phil. Yes, we had turkey dogs tonight, and we boiled them. That is correct. My wife boiled them for us. She boiled the hot dogs. Okay. Now, what should I do next? I'm actually having fun just diving. I would like to meet B. Is B at home now? No. B is still not home. Yeah. I'd like to meet the new Islander, but they're not home, so I'm not sure what exactly to do about that. There's uh, candy again. Oh, is that B? It's a brown dog. Oh. A brown dog, very soft spoken. You hear the voice? Very light. Great to meet you. It's Phil, right? My name's B. I decided to move here after I was invited to my cat, and I decided to be living here now with you. How's it going? Let's talk. Have you heard? There's going to be another fishing tournament this Saturday. Oh, I've never been part of a fishing tournament in the game. Between now and then, I need to research and brush up on all the latest fishing tips and tricks. Very soft-spoken. I kind of like that. Have you ever been inside Agnes' home? The lunar decorating style seems so Agnes. Agnes is the one she has like the flower bed in the middle of the house, right? And the cat tree? I think so. Okay. Alright. Do I like corn dogs? Uh, the few times I've had corn dogs, I like them. I don't think they're amazing or anything. I think they're alright. So. Okay. Oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> 